everyone, my name is Sumer Ahmed and I'm going to do a demo of this augmented reality headset HoloLens 2. Now many of you augmented reality or AR fans like me may already have a HoloLens 1. I recently got a HoloLens 2, started playing around and developing on it and I'm just going to walk through some of this stuff here. So first thing you'll notice when you use HoloLens 2 is you'll notice the field of view is about twice as large. So with HoloLens 1, you had about an index card floating in front of you overlaying the realistic or the real world. Uh, here you'll notice the field of view is twice as large. And you'll notice that as a step through this demo. Now, with the menu with HoloLens 1, you stuck out your hand like this and you kind of opened up your fingers in this bloom gesture, right? That was how you brought up the Windows, uh, Windows menu. You'll notice in HoloLens 2, they've changed it. You actually have to bring up your arm. You can bring up either one. But here you can see I brought up my left arm and this Windows icon appears. Then I can use this new gesture in HoloLens 2 called Select, where I just select that. You can bring it up, put it away. So here I brought up the menu. You can see there's a couple apps already on this initial widget. And I'm just going to go ahead and select all apps. And then I can scroll with my finger. I can also use that uh, gesture that was available in Air, uh, HoloLens 1 called Air Tap. Just Air Tap. You know, select my, uh, click my index finger and my thumb together and just scroll. That's also available in HoloLens 2, that same gesture. And you can also use the select gesture here. I'm going to open the weather app. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the air tap, hold, and I'm going to anchor this against this wall here. Or, yeah, against these blinds. And how HoloLens 2 works is it basically inputs your environment. It does what's called spatial mapping. It creates a realistic 3D model of your environment and it knows where all the surfaces are then. And then what you can do is as you create these holograms, objects or objects, you can anchor them on those surfaces, and that's called spatial anchoring, what I'm doing here. And then you can see I can even make this hologram or this uh, window bigger. I can increase the width, the number of things I can do here. So you can see this is the weather app. You can see it's about 72 degrees here in San Francisco right now. Another cool thing you can do here is you can select this icon here, and then what happens is this browser will just kind of It'll follow me as I go around, you know, around my uh, around my house. So I'm gonna go ahead and anchor this. I'm gonna put this back against the wall. And the cool thing here is you can anchor things on different walls, even in different rooms. You could turn off your headset, come back a month later, and it'll, when you turn it on, everything will still be there. It remembers where all the positioning is. Okay. Now on this opposite wall, you can see I have Netflix up, and I'm going to use this other gesture called hand ray, where I just stick my hand out here. This is a new gesture in HoloLens 2, and you can just stick it out. You can see this ray kind of appears, it's and you can see the preview starts here. Agent. I can come up this. and select, and I'm just going to move this browser. And you can use the same gesture that was available in HoloLens 1 as well, called gaze, where you just stare and air tap something to select it, you can use that gesture too. That's here as well, but there's this new gesture called uh, hand ray. Now here I have a 79 inch TV, and I'm just gonna show you what you can do in terms of scale. You can see how easily you can kind of create this giant window in this big screen TV. Really futuristic stuff here. Uh, I mean, I could see these replacing physical, physical devices once the form factor gets small enough uh, in terms of the headset. And I can bring up multiple windows again. I can go to my apps. Uh, let's go. Let's bring up uh, Twitter here. And I'm just going to put Twitter under the Bay Bridge here. So anyway, that's the end of my demo. hope you enjoyed it. It gives you some idea of what's possible with HoloLens 2 augmented reality. Make sure you check out my website, supertechcamp.com, for additional info.